Hello and welcome to Quirk Analysis 101, the series where I give you a detailed rundown on the quirks in the world of My Hero Academia. In the last two episodes, I discussed two quirks that were both handcrafted to be the most powerful quirk in the series. So this time, I'm going to give you a rundown on an equally powerful quirk that exists for no other reason than sheer luck. So, without further ado, let's begin our analysis on the utterly destructive quirk that is... EXPLOSION the Quirk Explosion is an emitter type quirk that first appeared in Chapter 1 of the My Hero Academia manga and Episode 1 of the anime. This quirk causes the user to sweat a nitroglycerin like substance from their hands, which they can ignite at will to create a variety of explosions. The quirk belongs to Katsuki Bakugo, who is the longtime rival and bully to the series protagonist and current one for all user Izuku Midoriya. Similar to Half Cold Half Hot, Explosion is the result of Bakugo's parents' quirks being mixed together. Bakugo's mother's quirk causes her to sweat a glycerin like substance around her entire body and his father's quirk causes him to secrete a highly combustible acidic sweat from his hands. By some miracle, Bakugo inherited the perfect mixture of these two quirks that granted him the astonishing ability to create explosions at will. While initially the explosion quirk may seem very basic, Bakugo has shown off how truly versatile the quirk can be. Using the recoil from his explosions, Bakugo can propel himself forward through the air at high speeds, while in the air, he can quickly propel himself in a different direction, allowing him to fly around his opponents to flank them. Once in close contact with his opponent, he can wear them down with a barrage of small explosions or finish them off with one big concentrated blast. One of the prime advantages of this quirk is that the more the user moves around, the more they sweat, meaning the longer the fight goes on, the more powerful the wheeler becomes. Being well aware of this, Bakko wears grenade gauntlets around his arms that gradually collect any of his excess sweat. Once these gauntlets are full, he can pull on a firing pin that ignites the collected sweat, releasing an utterly devastating explosion. This explosion destroys an entire building floor in Bakko's first fight against Midoriya. While this explosion is powerful, the greatest explosion we've ever seen Bakko use is the Howitzer Impact. By leaping towards his opponent and using multiple small explosions to rapidly spin around and build momentum, Bakko turns himself into a human tornado. While barreling towards his opponent, the aforementioned tornado collects oxygen to use as fuel. Once enough oxygen is gathered, Bakko fires off a massive explosion that has enough destructive force to completely obliterate Todoroki's stadium-sized ice wall. Another technique we've seen Bakko use is the AP shot, also known as the armor piercing shot. In this, Bakko focuses the pad of his explosions into a single point instead of around his whole palm, which creates a concentrated blast that has a reduced area of impact but maintains its destructive capabilities. There's also the AP shot auto cannon, which is a different variation of the AP shot that Bakko uses on weaker human targets. This variation has the same premise as the AP shot except instead of firing one concentrated blast, he quickly shoots multiple weaker blasts in an attempt to not fatally injure his target. While most of his moves are used to physically damage his opponent, there is still one move that was created for the sole purpose of disorientation, and that move is Bakko's flash grenade technique. Bakko creates a sphere of light between his hands that explodes into a large scale flash, blinding anyone in his vicinity. This move is extremely effective against quirks like Dark Shadow, which are weakened in areas of bright lights. While Bakko has shown the explosion quirk is far more versatile than you might imagine, there is still a lot of untapped potential behind this unique quirk. For example, if Bakko were to make a device similar to his grenade gauntlets except for his legs, then it would open up his fighting style, making him an even more formidable force to be reckoned with. With these gauntlets, Bakko could perform massive impact kicks, where he first kicks an opponent and then releases an explosion, causing huge amounts of damage. Or, if he wanted to improve his mobility, he could use the gathered sweat in the leg gauntlets to launch himself into the air, like a super jump. It would act similar to the explosion he makes when escaping from the League of Villains, except it would leave his arms open and available for combat. There is also the potential of using the explosion quirk with pinpoint accuracy. We know Bakugo can concentrate his explosive energy into a single point. If he were to fully master this ability, then he could potentially shoot bullet sized explosions from the tips of his fingers. This would help reduce the collateral damage caused by his bigger explosions while improving his long range combat. That's right ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about literal finger guns! However, while the explosion quirk is monstrously powerful, like every quirk in My Hero Academia, it does come with its fair share of weaknesses. Excessive use of explosions, particularly large ones, will eventually result in throbbing pain to the user's arms and shoulders. Also, using one of these bigger explosions will result in a massive amount of recoil, potentially breaking or dislocating an untrained user's arm. During cold weather, nitroglycerin-like sweat requires a slightly longer time to detonate, causing its user to have a slower reaction time, which could be detrimental in a combat situation. The user can only detonate the explosions in the palms of their hands, so if the user's hands are heavily covered in explosive resistant material, then the quirk is rendered useless. Here's a few more small facts about the explosion quirk. Unlike its parent quirks which causes their users to naturally produce sweat like a normal person, the explosion quirk grants its user the ability to forcibly secrete sweat, allowing them to create explosions at will. This also explains why no one mentions Bakko's hands being really wet all the time. 
The glycerin that Bakugo's mother's quirk produces is actually a natural moisturiser, leaving her with a very youthful and healthy skin despite her age. And for the most vital and important fact, nitroglycerin has both a sweet taste and smell similar to that of caramel. So if you're wondering why no one ever complains about the smell of Bakugo's sweat, it's because he constantly smells like candy floss. Explosion is unquestionably an extremely powerful quirk that has the potential to rival the likes of One For All and Half Cold Half Hot in power. While any average Joe could quickly learn the basics of this quirk, only a person with true determination can master its full potential. In the world of My Hero Academia, where the battles are plentiful and there's always a villain around a the corner, there is no shortage of opportunities to use this quirk. However, in the real world, its uses may be limited to starting fires and impressing friends, unless you're willing to be held responsible for a serious amount of collateral damage. But hey, it's up to you. And that's everything there is to know about the quirk explosion. Personally, I wouldn't like this quirk. I mean, it's super powerful, but it wouldn't be very practical in the real world. But hey, let me know what you think of this quirk. Would you like to have the power to create explosions at will? And if so, what would be the first thing you would blow up? Next time, we're going to be analyzing Tenya Ida's quirk, Engine. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. For more My Hero content, keep your eyes out for the lunchtime crew. But most importantly, remember to go beyond Plus Ultra.